Welcome back to The Real Deal, and today we're gonna to discuss things that could help you win a bidding war on a home. With a limited number of homes for sale today, and so many buyers looking to make a purchase, before mortgage rates rise further, bidding wars are common. According to the latest report from the National Association of Realtors, nationwide homes are getting an average of 4.8 offers per sale. Here's a look at how that breaks down state by state. The same report from NAR shows that the average buyer made two offers before getting their third offer accepted. In this type of competitive housing market, it's important to know what levers you can pull to help you beat the competition. While a real estate professional is your ultimate guide to presenting a strong offer, here are a few things you could consider. Offering over asking price. When you think of sweetening the deal for sellers, the first thought you likely have is around the price of the home. In today's housing market, it's true, more homes are selling for over asking price because there are more buyers than there are homes for sale. You just want to make sure your offer is still within your budget and realistic for the market value in the area. That's where a local real estate professional can help you through the process. Bankrate says, quote, simply put, being willing to pay more money than other buyers is one of the best ways to get your offer accepted. You may not have to increase it by a lot. It will depend on the area and other factors. So look to your real estate agent for guidance. Putting down a bigger earnest money deposit. You could also consider putting down a larger deposit up front. An earnest money deposit is a check you write to go along with your offer. If your offer is accepted, the deposit is credited towards your home purchase. NerdWallet explains how it works. Quote, a typical earnest money deposit is one to 2% of the home's purchase price, but the amount varies by location. A higher earnest money deposit may catch the seller's attention in a hot housing market. That's because it shows the seller you're seriously interested in their house and have already set aside money that you're ready to put towards a purchase. Talk to a professional to see if this is something you can do in your area. Making a higher down payment. Another option is increasing how much of a down payment you're going to make. The benefit of a higher down payment is you won't have to finance as much. This helps the seller feel like there's less risk in the deal or the financing falling through. And if other buyers put less down, it could be what helps your offer stand out from the crowd. Non-financial options to make a strong offer. Realtor.com points out that while increasing these financial portions of the deal can help, they're not your only options. Quote, price is not the only factor sellers weigh when they look at offers. The buyer's terms and contingencies are also taken into account as well as pre-approval letters, appraisal requirements, and the closing time the buyer is asking for. When it's time to make an offer, partner with a trusted professional. They have insight into what sellers are looking for in your local market and can give you expert advice on what levers you may need or may not want to pull when the time comes to write an offer. From a non-financial perspective, this can include things like flexible move-in dates or minimal contingencies. For example, you could make an offer that's not contingent on the sale of your current home. Just remember, there are certain contingencies you don't want to forego, like your home inspection. Ultimately, the options you can have vary state to state, so it's best to lean on your expert real estate professional for guidance. Ladies and gents, let's jump to the bottom line. In today's hot housing market, you need a partner who can serve as your guide, especially when it comes to making a strong offer. So let's connect so you can have a trusted resource and coach on how to make the strongest offer possible for your specific situation here in Sarasota and Manatee County. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.